This is Pyro, an analyzer for music that shows you the notes as they are played. It rolls the spectrum into a spiral and the notes appear brightly as they point to their name on the edge like the hands of a clock. I'll show you how using this famous composition in A minor. By just looking at it you can see other notes of any instrument, like here you see A, E, D, E, G, E, A, E, D, E, A, E. The whole point of Spiral is that you don't need to guess notes anymore. It's all right in front of your eyes. You only need to watch and take notes. That was too easy. Here's a real example. Usually instruments have their own color. That comes from stereo panning. Colors represent where the instrument is heard. Drums are in blue all the way to the right. You can see the notes the guitar plays pretty sharply, but if you focus on the center of the Spiral you can see what the contrabass is doing at the same time. You can make the bass notes appear sharper by increasing the resolution, though it makes everything more laggy, and there's no way around that. So you can write down and learn every note for each instrument. But what if it all goes too fast to make note of everything going on? There's a way to slow down everything as much as you need. You just press the rig button. This records the sound going through the plugin, then hit stop. While recording, I'm just adjusting the pan window to focus on the blue stuff. Spyro has two modes. We were in the live mode, now we're in the record mode where we can go back and forth, slow down or even freeze the recorded sound. This way we can take as much time as we need to figure out each note and write them down. It's a huge help for transcribing anything. This is exactly what I do. Record, then play back slow, identify each notes, write them down, learn them and play them on my instrument of predilection. By the way, that's how I learned music. I didn't know anything until I made Spiral, then bought a guitar and played what Spiral showed me. Now I know how to play entire jazz flute solos on my guitar, and I use an unusual tuning so tabs are no use to me. They can be pretty inaccurate anyway. You can do a better job than tab makers using Spiral. Your eyes are more reliable than someone else's ears. Sometimes, something is too hard to analyze with Spiral. You can't see too well. It's just too busy or too noisy. Or you're playing your instrument of predilection and you just want to know what notes you mean to play. Just whistle it. The notes are already in your head. Whistling them gets them out of your head and Spiral tells you what they are. You can just set up your laptop next to you, whistle, hum or sing what you want to play, instantly see and know what you're supposed to play and just play it. You don't even have to touch anything. Also, if you increase the resolution, it makes a pretty good tuner. You can even see how string stiffness shifts overtones up or see bidding between two notes even on individual harmonics. What if you have chords, many notes playing together at the same time, and you want to identify them? By clicking on the visualization, you can create overlays that show you the position of the harmonics for a given note. So in order to identify all the notes you see at the same time, you should create several of those overlays and try to match their dots with bright lines in the spectrum to get the best fit and the most sensible solution. Think of it as a puzzle game, where instead of gaining fake points, you gain the knowledge of how music is made. Spiral is also a very good and flexible time stretcher in its own right that can be used for creative effects or just practice playing at a low speed and a great general purpose visualizer that can teach you many things about sound design, mixing or stereo positioning. For a strange reason, it also appears to be the only spectrum visualizer in which the intensity of the light you see is directly proportional to the volume of the sound it represents. Spiral is a VST and audio unit plugin. In the future, I'll try to also make it a standalone program with loopback input. There's a demo version that does it all. Try it now. Astronomers have the telescope. Biologists have the microscope. Now you have the spiral.